Hello and welcome back, this is Insiders and I'm continuing playing Agatha Christie Evil Under the Sun. We are in the lovely island of Seacrest Island and uh, so far nobody hasn't died yet. At least I think I shouldn't think so. While I was uh, actually starting this game I will check my inventory and I realized one thing. Uh, last episode I was wondering why I cannot actually loot this. Obviously I can, I just need to double click. Ta-da! Motor enthusiast. All new 53 pages of detail. Poirot doesn't appreciate it like I do. Amateur mechanics. Time to move up from changing your oil. How to clean points. Remove distributor cap. Examine ignition system. Why do I have a feeling that we are going to do something with some kind of a car engine? Sea Drift Island. A brochure extolling the virtues of Sea Drift Island. A beautiful Sea Drift Island has a long and colorful history. The first construction on the island was a Roman temple dedicated to Bacchus, the god of wine and intoxication. That's my kind of god. In the same spirit. Ah, oh, I can see what you did there. 500 years later, Christian monks built a monastery upon the ancient Roman ruins and produced a brandy that was a favorite throughout the British Isles. In the 14th century, the Smuggler's End in, uh, was built near the causeway, originally known as the Anmering Arms, after Sea Captain Roger Anmering. The name was changed in the mid 19th century to commemorate one of the inn's most colorful customers, Thomas Cutter. Tom Cutter was a smuggler and a pirate who used the inn and the island and his as his base of operations at the end of the 18th century. In fact, he is said to have died on the island, although there are conflicting stories as to the manner of his death. Tom Cutter also gave his name to Cutter's Cove, popular beach on the south side of the island, as well as Cutter's Cave, where it is said he hid his muggled goods. Two further stories of Tom Cutter concerns the appearance of his ghost in the vicinity of the smuggler's end, as well as rumors that he buried a vast fortune in the treasure somewhere on the island. Many claim to have seen his ghost, but so far no one has unearthed his treasure. The first hotel was built on the island in 1924, and then modernized ten years later with all the modern conveniences that provides such a comfortable destination for travel travelers of the world over. Okay, that's interesting. Can we... Feather stained with blood. I fear for the chicken these ones belong to. Yes. This glass is empty. So it is. Some money. Probably enough for one small purchase. Dude, dude, is this everything we have? Yes. So I don't know. We're missing something, I'm guessing, because nothing has happened. I think we talked to her. Anything on the downstairs I maybe missed? Um... Uh, What do we have here? Oh, the bar. Anything I can pick from here? Um. Wait. Can I? Have I? Have I not checked this? What is that? It appears to be an empty bottle of the grenadine. Oh, grenadine. But why I haven't? Red. Uh, this bottle was once full of grenadine, and now only a few drops remain. I don't know, maybe that's important. Maybe it isn't, but let's take it anyways, because we can. Alright, that noise there. Uh, it is an unusual wreck. It's to keep the clay of the court smooth. And from the look of that clay, it's about time for a good wreck. Okay. We already knew about that. Have I missed something very obvious? What is over there? This is an area I haven't been. But I really don't see anything over here. Well, reminds me of the murder on the Orient Express when I didn't find the bloody knife.
Okay, did I miss something? I imagine this was quite a Yes, Hastings. Religion cannot be faulted for Okay, we already knew about that, but anything I've missed here. Yes, there's the or we can't do anything with that. Oh. Okay. I say that looks like one of those doors you find in old monasteries. What do you call them? A monk's door, Hastings. Okay, can I open it? Tightly locked. And the door may be ancient, but that keyhole looks as if it had been recently used. Okay, uh, so we probably can open this at the same time. There is quite a passage down there. We will need something more than good intentions to shift this stone, however. Okay, uh, nothing over there. So we found two more, two more things. Uh, we have the blind. Not a bad blind, if I do say so myself. No, no, definitely not. That will not help. Will it not? So, have I missed talking with someone? Up. Oh, Probably have to go through the people. What are you thinking, Hastings? Warro, he does not climb up and down the ladders. He does not, indeed. Anything I might find from here? Nothing. So, anything. I'm not really in the mood to talk at the moment. Okay, how about your husband? Poro, I would love to spend some time chatting, but might we do so at a later time? Poro is very annoyed now, because he mispronounced my name. Anything in here? We are... Uh, I'm... I'll probably have to check everybody that I have told. If you see any of the ladies, be sure and tell them now would be a fine time for a bathe. Oh... Uh. <laughs> Sorry, sir. I've got me duties to attend to. You're just standing around there, mate. Oh, there are people over there. <laughs> Patrick, darling, you're such a child. Man enough. I see what you mean, old man. There is indeed a storm coming. I don't think I saw those earlier when I took the rope. Can I do anything there more? There is nothing further to be found here. Okay. Uh... Hastings? I swim like the dolphin. I simply do not wish to swim at the present moment. Right. Um... Uh... If you see any of the oh yeah 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 definitely not huh anything what else I need to do now I hmm this is uh I br we are not allowed to yeah we are not allowed to go and their phone does not work at the moment I'm guessing we can use it. no so I'm guessing we will use that later but everyone else is gone at the moment Let 
attached tight on the inside. Okay. And uh, yeah, she is still here. I will leave her to herself for the time. Fine. It seems like I've talked to everyone. Or I'm missing someone somewhere. Was there something else, Mr. Poirot? <sighs> oh, I can talk to her. Okay. Um, guess I was wrong. Hopefully this will help. Uh, let's start. Is the hotel safe at the disposal of guests? Of course. We'll be happy to store any of your valuables. Have you been the manager here long? Only a few months. Not quite the situation I was hoping for, and it won't last much longer thanks to the war. Okay. Are there any golf courses nearby on the mainland? Hastings, Poirot does not play their golf. Remember well who you are. Sorry, old man. I will not impose upon you further, madame. Mr. Poirot, there was one thing. Oui, madame? It's such a small matter, I feel... Silly bringing it to the attention of a gentleman with your reputation. Well, do not let the reputation of Poirot cause you to hesitate in your inquiry. Well, my wire recorder has gone missing. I used to dictate all my letters for a girl in the village to type up. She's learning to type, so she brings her own typewriter. I need only supply the paper. Interesting. Quite a lot of things going missing. Typewriter, now the dictating. So, why is the wire recorder? When was the wire Wait. recorder taken? Sometime on the evening of the 19th. 19th. That's my paper. Oh no. Uh, so, 19th when the. There's my pen. Okay, and... Do you lock your office? There has never been any need. I lock the safe, of course. That is where all the valuables are kept. Well, to be honest, if you're holding the valuables, I would suggest you lock the door also. Did anything else out of the ordinary happen on the day the recorder went missing? Let me see. Well, that was the day Arlena Stewart arrived. A celebrity such as she causes quite a stir. I am not sure what I can do, but I will be happy to keep my eyes and ears open, madame. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Poirot. A wire recorder? Those things are huge. Shouldn't be difficult to track down. Pardon, madame? Eh bien, Hastings. You have made good progress. The principals of the cast have made their entrances. You have explored as much as was possible to me on the morning of August 24th. You have uncovered some of the mysteries that made me uneasy, even then. Did you already know murder was in the wind? It was very clearly indicated, mon cher. Why didn't you stop it? If a person is determined to commit murder, it is not easy to prevent them. I do not blame myself for what happened. It was inevitable. What are my next steps? When you are ready, we will continue our little game. I was able to explore further. Introduce yourself to the residents of Leathercombe Bay. Look for opportunities to assist anyone you can in the village or on the island. They will appreciate your thoughtfulness and will be more likely to help you when you need a favor in return. As before, if you find yourself unable to progress, I will assist with the magic of the Finger of Suspicion. Yes, uncanny, that gadget. I believe you promised me a second clue to unravel its mysteries. Quite right, my friend. The clue is... Lamp. Power. Lamp. Illuminating.
Things are progressing exactly as I expected. Go back. Oh, I didn't think you were here, sir. Your towels are fresh and your bed linen changed, so never you mind about that. Good grief. That girl certainly got the wind up over something. The boyfriend, Will Jinx, I suspect is the cause. Right, um, what can we do now? Probably to talk. Uh, do I have any instructions? No. Um, we have different timelines, time timetables. Which will probably come in come handy at some point. Quite securely locked, I am afraid. Hmm. Can we use this? Well, that is not. No. So let's go down. And uh, anything new? Ah, nobody's here. Okay, that's good. Time to snoop around. Okay, we have a plan. What is this? Ah, a key. <laughs> right, and there's something there. A bust of somebody named Tom Cutter. Never heard of him. Hastings, we read that brochure. You should already know. On the bottom appears to be loose. Yes, let's. Can I? Fascinating. Okay, you have to click quite a few times. A plate with a keyhole in it. Uh, well, we do have a key. Another key. One could hardly call this bust a bust at all, wouldn't you say, Poirot? Ah, a welcome appearance by the most elusive rarity, the wit of the British. Right. No need for barbs, old man. But Hastings, that was <laughs> that was so bad. It was so bad. It was almost like one of my jokes. Uh, hmm. What is that? You. Four. It's either you or four. Okay, I need to mark those. Um. Uh, 11 and 17 and 21 is there a code for a safe or something like that I don't know 
Uh, can I? Yeah, I can't interact with it. And uh, no. Can I check this? No. So we have floor plan. Emily Brewster, Arlena Stewart, Mr. and Mrs. Gardner, Kenneth Marshall, Horace Plot. Oh, we haven't met that guy. Yeah. Linda Marshall, Stephen Lane, Rosamund Darnley, Waro, Major Barrier, and Mr. and Mrs. Redfern. Interesting. Can what else we can check? Obviously, they're safe. And we do have a key. Impressive. It opened effortlessly. It must see frequent use. Yeah, this is why you lock the door in your office and not leaving the keys lying around. A common enough oil lantern used for signaling. Interesting. We'll leave it for the present hastings. Okay, so I show hopefully I do remember that because we probably need it later. These codes aren't standard Morse. I don't like the look of them at all. Do we have a spy in here? These codes. Good God, Poirot. That's a German two way radio. I think we'd better have a talk with that castle woman. No. Make a note of the codes. But we must not remove anything or mention our discovery, Hastings. I agree something is not right, but let us rest and see what occurs with her. So, she might be a spy or something really off is going on. Can I check this? No, so we have done everything in here, I think. Let's see. That's outside, obviously. Um, Alright, there's the dining room. Anything in here? No. I don't see anything, at least. I'm guessing we can go out. Yeah. And we don't want to do that because I want to go to the bar. Nothing I can see here. At least nothing new. Nobody is in here. Can I use that to my advantage? Ah, there is something over there. What is that? What did we pick up? I speak. An intimidatingly sharp I speak. Good for murdering. But I'm guessing that's not a murder weapon because... We just found it, but I don't know what we're going to do with it. But I'll soon find out. Ah, hello. If I say something to you that is probably outrageously impertinent, will you never speak to me again? I don't think I'd ever regard anything you say to me as impertinent. Why don't you divorce Arlena? She's pretty notorious. You don't understand, my dear girl. Are you so frightfully fond of her? It's not a question of that. Arlena's not good for Linda, nor for you. Perhaps. But you see, I gave my word. Marriage is a vow, Rosa. I'm sick of quick marriage and easy divorce. Arlena's my wife. That's all there is to it. Till death do you part? Yes. Till death do us part. I see. Well, that's an interesting take. Anyways. Now we have heard all we can here, Hastings. And... Yeah, we are not allowed to talk to them. Okay. Nothing new in here. I... I don't think so. So I'm guessing we can go to the mainland, but before we do that, I'll obviously go through the island first. Hello. What you doing? Bonjour, Monsieur Gardner. Have you lost something? What? 
Oh, hello, Mr. Poirot. Lost something? Uh, no, no. Just looking at the grass. Just looking at the grass. Okay, that's interesting. Well, what a thrilling life you do lead. You look at the grass with great intensity. Nothing wrong in that, I hope. My hobby could be gardening, like my name. It could be, that is true. But you have already told me your hobby is collecting rare coins. I did, did I? Well, it's true. Mm. You are a little off. A wonderful view from this spot. Yes, I'm told Tom Cutter spent long hours up here watching the sea for ships that might run aground. What brings you and the charming Mrs. Gardner to Sea Drift Island? Whim, I think. I don't quite recollect. No, that's not it. Oh my god. What is it? Why did we come here? We came here. Good god, man. Today is our anniversary. August 24th, 29th anniversary, and I have completely forgotten. What am I going to do? If I try to sneak into time, she'll know. She'll know I forgot. Do not concern yourself, my friend. I, Hercule Poirot, will undertake this mission for you. And Mrs. Gardner will be none the wiser. That's very decent of you, Mr. Poirot. What can I do in return? Just repaying you doesn't seem enough. Huh? Possibly tell me the truth about why you came to Sea Drift Island. I expect you've already guessed, but if you can find Kerry a present, I'll be happy to share all I know. Eh bien, no time must be lost. What shall I purchase for her? Why, well, I, I don't know. Use your own discretion. I... no frilly undergarments, though. That wouldn't do. I need to alert the cook. We'll want a little cake and champagne. So... Yeah, but apparently he has problems with memory. I can relate to that, uh, but for different reasons. Um, anything in here? So we need to buy a present. I, I don't think we can give him, him chicken feathers, bloody chicken feathers. That wouldn't do. That really wouldn't do, old boy. Anything in here? Tightly locked. And the door may be ancient, but that keyhole looks as if it had been recently used. Oh, right. Yeah, nothing new. Nothing new at all. So. Oh, Mr. Poirot, this is a splendid blind. The birds practically walk right up to me. I am pleased you find it adequate, Mademoiselle Marshall. But there's something wrong. Look at that one on the rock nearest the shore. What is on it, Mr. Poirot? It looks like oil, Poirot. Maybe from a leaky boat engine. It'll kill the bird, I'm afraid. Mademoiselle, it is oil, I fear. Very bad for living things. Oh, please, please, Mr. Poirot. We must try to save it. Hastings? I am out of my depth here. I'm afraid I am too, old man. Maybe there's someone in the village who could help us? Yes, definitely. We need to help the bird, so we need something to clean the bird. No more can be learned by disturbing her any further at the moment. Okay, we have two people who needs a favor from us, and then we m learn more. Did you know that woman was going to be here? Look, Christina, I don't know what's come over you. Over me? Oh, Patrick, you insisted so on coming here. You knew Mrs. Marsh was going to be here. You were infatuated with her. For God's sake, Christine, don't make a fool of yourself. We've been so happy. We are happy. But we shan't go on being happy if I can't even speak to another woman without you kicking up a row in love with her don't be ridiculous come on let's go back to the hotel i'm climbing down to cutter's cove you can come if you like this isn't good no my friend yet there is nothing we can do events will take their course okay can i talk to him 
What do you think you're playing at? Poirot, he goes for the afternoon constitutional. Nothing more. Poirot, you say? The detective? The very same. I'm Patrick Redfern. My wife, Christine, and I. You down here on the case? No, no. Nearly the holiday. Oh, you are on holiday as well? That's right. I'm an estate agent. War is hard on the housing market. So we took a few days off. War is hard on many things. That's true enough. Um. How do you like Cedret Island? I think it's grand, actually. The weather has been cooperating and the swimming is first rate. I used to spend most of my time as a boy exploring this coast long before there was a hotel here. So you know the area, okay? I observed earlier you enjoy their friendship with Elena Marshall. Oh, she's just an acquaintance Christine and I made up in London. Quite the coincidence, all of you turning up here. Yes, rather. What was it like here when you were a boy? Just the smugglers and pub all shut up here on the island and Cutter's Cave, of course. Cutter's Cave? It's behind some rocks down in Cutter's Cove there. You haven't explored it? Ah, uh, no. The ladder? It is safe? The metal one sounds enough. You can also row around from the bathing beach if you like. Ah, and Mrs. Redfern, does she share your enthusiasm? Yes, she's enjoying her sketching immensely. She's quite good at it too. If you'll excuse me, Mr. Poirot, I'm going to wait on the deck for my wife. Okay, so that's done for now. Hello. Good afternoon, Madame Gardner. Hello, Mr. Poirot. May I join you? I should like the company. Thank you. That is a very beautiful shawl. Oh, thank you. It seems as I've been working on it for ages. You enjoy the knitting? Oh, yes. Oakley has his coins. I have this. There. Finished. Oh, you are very skilled. Okay, and... Monsieur Gardiner seems young to be already retired. Oh, well, to tell you the truth, Mr. Poirot, retirement chose Oakley. He did not choose it. A financial misfortune? Yes. You recall his mentioning the theatre he used to manage? Bien, sir. He was the owner as well. The theatre had not been doing well. Oakley hit on the idea of paying a great deal of money, more than he could afford to lose, to attract a major star to perform there. She took the money. He claimed illness. The show was cancelled. There was nothing for it but to close. We live off his army pension and a bit half put away. What brought you to Cedret Island, Madame Gardner? Hmm. Oh my goodness! What is it? Our anniversary is today. Our 29th anniversary and I had forgotten it. Oh, I have nothing to give him. Perhaps that's sure? I have often found them of great value fending off the cold of a winter evening. Oakley wouldn't be caught dead in a shawl. And I have no time to knitting anything else. I see. Oh, Mr. Poirot, I know he'd give me my present at dinner. What shall I do? Allow Poirot to assist you. I will find a suitable gift. If you could do that, this shawl is yours. I'd better get back to the hotel. I want to be ready for dinner. So now we have to find... Poirot, there is too much going on to bother ourselves with this. Au contraire, my friend. It does not hurt to help others in need. And that is a shawl I would prize. So, two gifts. Gifts. Okay. Uh... Anything happening in here? Oh, nobody's... Can I enter there? That... That was weird. I will take the float, Hastings, but do not expect Poirot to paddle around the sea on it. Interesting. What Don't else? Varnish. Poirot, open the lid. If I get any of this boat varnish on my clothes, 
you will pay the cleaning bills? Alas, it is stuck fast. I cannot open it. Okay, uh, anything... Oh, there's something. And... Uh, I guess we have everything. So we have a wooden ore. The bottle of boat varnish, tightly sealed. Single wooden ore. We can probably use that to open the... Open the... I am sorry, no. an interesting idea that, but I fear doomed to fail. Open the um, dungeon. Dungeon. Cave. What is that? It is quite a view, Hastings, but I fear my eyesight is not up to the task of making out any items of interest unaided. So I guess we need a telescope or binoculars. Uh, so that's it then for now nothing else here I'll go and check if we can open the cave and um, because that would be interesting maybe can we use this you continue to impress me, Hastings. Yes, we can. Anything interesting? From the looks of this tunnel, no one's been down here in a long time. The dust on the floor is undisturbed. Quite ominous little cave. A Roman column dating to the first century. A Roman. Okay. Anything else? Roman to be sure. Just think of the history these stones have seen, Hastings. That is true. I'll try to see if there's anything I need to pick up. Ah, there is something. I think I found a gift, but there are footprints over here. Which we are not apparently... Joe, a gold coin in top condition. Indeed, there are footprints here. We are not making comment about those. So let's go. You may know my friend Hastings. I could blunder about in these tunnels for hours while who knows what crimes are committed in my absence. I need some means to ensure I am traveling in the proper direction. Okay. You may know my friend. Do I have an old 1689 gold guinea worth a pretty penny, I'd expect. I'll see. That might be a, one of the gifts I could use. I don't think I have anything I can use to go through these caves, so we might as well go back. And we need to go to the mainland. All right, yeah. Uh, I could go and check the other beach while we're at it. Mm -hmm. I did not mean to frighten you, Major Barry. What? Frighten me? A man with 20 years of service to Her Majesty on the frontier? Rubbish! Where are you going, Barry? That fellow is up to something, Poirot. Mark my words. Something or someone had certainly captured his interest. Yes. Oh, no. Okay. Madame Marshall? Oh, this island is too small. There is nowhere to hide. If you wish it, I will withdraw. No, never mind. The famous detective, I believe. I am at your service, Madame. Are you indeed? That's uncommonly good of you. 
I understand Kenneth told you about the notes I've received. I think you should take these notes seriously, madame. You may be right. You have had that change of heart, then? You could say that. In order to help, I must ask of you some questions. Impertinent questions, I should think. Necessary questions. Very well, then. Okay, so... Was it Mr. Marshall who made you decide to speak with me? Kenneth? No, of course not. What was it, then? I've received another threat. Here it is. The day of your punishment is at hand. It sounds rather like things are coming to a head, doesn't it? I would say so, yes. Interesting, so... Do you know of anyone who might wish you harm? I'm rich, beautiful, and famous. There's a certain delight in those who are not rich, or beautiful, or famous, when someone like me makes a misstep or suffers some tragedy. The newspapers and film magazines thrive on stories of the high and mighty brought low. All that you say may be true. Yet these notes do not sound as if they were written from jealousy. The underlying emotion feels to me different. Hatred? Exactly. It's no secret I get on with men, Monsieur Poirot. I like men. Men like me. Not so the women. If I were to suspect anyone, it would be a woman who believed I had wronged her in some way. A name would be helpful. Possibly. But that is all I'm going to say. Okay, that won't help me at all. Has anyone here on the island aroused your suspicions? No. Not a soul. This surprises me. I thought actors were keen observers of the human nature. Do not confuse lack of observation with lack of interest, Monsieur Poirot. Is there nothing you can tell me that would assist me in helping you? Tell me this. Are you certain the notes mean my life is in danger? No, madame. I am not. Oh, come now, Poirot. Isn't it obvious? No, Estes. Nothing is obvious. I agree with you. Good day. Right, can I see the letter? I'm guessing it's here. Uh, documents. Ah, I didn't realize we have the code book notes. We have to check those. The day of your punishment is at hand. Interesting. No enemy ships sighted. Too short, too long. Enemy ship sighted southeast. Three short, one long. Enemy ship sighted southwest. Three long, one short. Enemy troops discoursed for long. Dangerous standoff for a short. Pickup required high tide. Three short. Fire on disposition. Three long. Right. So, we are done with this. Uh, hmm. I'm guessing we... Hmm. Can I do anything inside the hotel at the moment? Oh, that's... The door is... Emily Brewster's room. Quite securely... So far, no. I guess that's outside also. I can't see anyone in here, but yeah. No, no. Apparently. Ah, interesting. Mr. Poirot, did you find something Oakley would like as an anniversary present? I believe I have, my love. This gold coin should interest him, don't you think? Oh, this is perfect. Whenever did you find it? That must remain my secret for now. Here is your shawl, Mr. Poirot, and thank you. Okay, uh, well, I'm not wasting any time in here anymore. Uh, I am sorry. So... I'll see if you can go back, go to the mainland and, uh, oh. 
It's a little maze like. Anyways. Anything? Just trying to see if there's something here new. Can we enter? The door, it is locked tight. So we still cannot enter here. Can we get the boat or what was it? Not a uh, ferry. Sea tractor. No answer. I expect Jenks is off for the evening. And if there is the emergency on the island? I should imagine somebody gets his feet wet. Okay, so... While Ro will not be waiting in this story, huh. it must be clear. What am I missing? What am I supposed to do now? I thought we could actually go... Hmm. What am I missing? We have the key, we have shawl. Um... So we can't go to the sea tractor. Hmm. We need to do something to activate it because obviously we need to go. No, no, no. I want to go up. We need to go to the leather gomb. But what we are missing? Should I walk around here and see if I can find something? No. Hmm. Where's Mrs. Castle? So where is everybody at the moment? Well, uh, I, no, no, I wasn't supposed to go in. <laughs> right. Nobody, because we need binoculars or some something. Um, we have something over there. There's nobody in here. You are here also. And we can't go down. And the bird is here. We need to help the bird. Uh, but again, we don't have anything at the moment. There's nothing we can do on the... In the, inside the caves. And I'm guessing you are not talking to us until we get the gift. What am I missing? What is the thing I need to do to get things moving? Hmm. Tricky. 
I think I've been everywhere. Ah. Uh, and nothing changed in here. There's nothing over there. Can I go over here? Yes, I can. Wait a minute. Whose room is this? How did I... Montague Barry's room? Okay, good, good. Let's do this then. From the looks of these betting receipts, the major is his bookmaker's best and unluckiest customer. Okay, what else we can find out? Let's see if we can. I, I think this room belongs to Major Barry. You think? Interesting looking box. One of those straps on the suitcase might come in handy. Oh. One of those straps. So I need a. St One of those straps. One of those. Uh, no. Huh. One of those straps. Okay. So we need something to get the strap. We don't have anything at the moment at least I don't think so can I I can't go move can I, well this is Poirot's room obviously anything in here no well this is awkward Okay, I can enter people's uh, rooms, so I have to do that at least for now. At least some of the rooms. A Bible, Poirot. Not so unlikely a thing to find in the room of a former clergyman. Uh, yeah, definitely. Revelation 2.20 Thou sufferest that woman, Jezebel, which calleth herself a prophetess, to teach and to seduce my servants to commit fornication, and to eat things sacrificed unto idols. Now, why would he have that particular passage open? Because he apparently has some issue. If I remember correctly, this must be Stephen Lane's room. And this is it. It is Stephen Lane's room. Obviously, we already know that. Uh, do you have... Oh. So... Mineral oil makes a spiffing laxative. We will borrow the mineral oil, Hastings. But Poirot has no need of the laxative. But... No markings on the bottle at all. I will take only two. Perhaps we can determine what they are. Okay, so I think we have everything we can take from here. Huh. No, there's nothing over there. So can we enter? So we were poor room's room. Oh, these are Horus Platz. Can I enter there? Quite securely locked, I am afraid. Hmm. Fine. Fine. Latched tight on the inside. And that's also a room where we cannot enter at the moment. I wish he, Poirot, would, Poirot would run, but obviously Poirot does no, not run. They don't. It will not budge. Now, let's go to the other side and see if we can enter the other rooms. That's uh, Arlena Stewart's room. Nope. The door, it is. Kenneth. The door is locked, but I can hear the voices from within. 
Perhaps we should listen a bit closer, Hastings. Okay. Uh, I do not think that. Uh, how do I listen in? I would guess we are using the cl class. Or oh, ah. No. You had no right to tell that silly little man about the notes. If you can't take them seriously, someone must. I rather thought you might have written them. Me? Why on earth? If you thought I'd been misbehaving again. Do you think I can't see why you dragged us down here for a holiday? Somebody told me about this place. I think it was the Rylands. Look here, Arlena. I know what you're like. That boy is fond of his wife, really. Must you upset the whole blinking show? Kenneth, don't let Patrick upset you so. He's a puppy. Nothing more. So you admit that young Redfern is crazy about you? It's really rather stupid of him. You know, don't you, Kay? That I don't really care for anyone but you. I think I know you pretty well, Arlena. Oh, that was enlightening. Uh, Linda Marshall. The door, it is locked tight. Oh, nice. Uh, what do we have here? Uh, suitcase, can I open it? RD. Anything else? No. So, is that it? What did we got? A blank typing paper. Typing paper. Rosamond had it in her suitcase. Right. Um, okay. Hmm. Can we enter the red Redburn's room? No. Quite securely locked. I am. A <sighs> Should I try the insides also? I think I should just to be Emily Brewster. Locked. Latched. That we already know there's somebody inside. And uh, Horace Platt. Quite sick. Stephen Lanes. I guess I can enter it. No. Latched tight. Oh, what is it? What do we have here? <gasps> ah. Okay, that's good. I don't know why we take that, but let's take that anyways, because obviously we take everything we... Oh! Everything we can. I'll have to be very uh, careful that I have box of detergent. Okay, so can I check? A box of detergent I borrowed from Gladys Carr. Well, I'm sure we will return that. Like the tiles in the Murder on the Orient Express. Sturdy scrubbing brush appears to have seen much use. Well, that's true. And ah, uh, okay, good to know. Uh, scissors. Definitely, we need to use the scissors. And uh, Linda Marshalls, can I enter? No, no. Latch tight. Oh, we can go upstairs now. Barry's room, the red first room. We go. We can go upstairs now. That is interesting. Um, that goes down. Well, hello there. Do you observe anything unusual, Madame Gesser? Not yet, I'm thankful to say. Mr. Blatt's sailboat put into Levercombe Bay a short while ago. I suspect he'll make for the monk's hood before heading back out. Monk's hood? What do you look for so intently, Madame Castle? New boats, Mr. Poirot. I have seen them, too. Okay. So close to shore? Oh, yes. I suspect there's one out there right now. Watching. Right. Have you told this to Monsieur Black? 
Yes, I did. He laughed at me and said they were not likely to waste a torpedo on his tiny sailboat. He has their point there. So what is the monk's hood? I'm guessing it's a pub. What is the monk's hood? The only pub still open between here and Kingsbridge. Albert Bagley runs it. Ah, uh, okay. Who has the key to the smuggler's inn? Colonel Weston took charge of it when they closed up. Colonel Weston? But he is an old friend of mine. He set up shop in the police station. But is he not the chief constable for the entire district? Yes, but he runs the home guard for this area. He's overseeing the coastal evacuations. We used to have a local constable, but after evacuations got underway, he was transferred to Modbury. Modbury, may I borrow your binoculars? May I borrow your binoculars? I need them, Mr. Poirot. I promised Colonel Weston I'd keep watch. Surely no attack will come during the afternoon. Why do you want binoculars? Uh, bird. To observe the Gilmo at the sanctuary of the birds? You don't strike me as the bird watching type, Mr. Poirot. It is odd that you say that, madame. I thought the same of a gentleman I met this morning. What gentleman? He called himself Mr. North. Is he perhaps a guest? No, I've never heard of him. Um. Well, then, U-boats? To help in the watch for U-boats. Well, I do have other duties to attend to. I mark any sightings on the calendar in my office. If you would do the same, I then pass on the information to Colonel Weston. But of course. And if you wouldn't mind doing me one small personal favor. I would be happy to assist you, madame. If you would return this book to the lending library, I'd think that a very fair trade. I shall do as you ask. Here you are, then. I'll be off. Thank you. Well... It is quite a view, Hastings. But I fear my eyesight is not... Okay, can I use the binoculars over here? These are the binoculars most splendid. But I cannot see anything of particular interest here. Oh. Uh, okay, I guess we go down then. But we need to go... to outside and uh, get the leather strap. Because now we have scissors. I'm guessing we can use the scissors. Was it... Uh, where was it? Not in the lane. Uh, not in the burrow. It was Barry. I think it was Barry's. Yes, it was Barry's. Definitely Barry's. I will cut your letter strap if I can. Let us hope the Major is not as observant as Poirot. I believe we've damaged Major Barry's suitcase sufficiently, Hastings. Indeed we have. So now we have a section of leather strap. Rather interesting. I don't know what we are going to do with that, but we will find out. I'm almost certain about it. Now, now we have the binoculars. I'm guessing... Oh, we could check the book, which was given by Mrs. Castle. Book Loves, Loves Captive. Loves Captive by Mrs. Arabella Richardson. Property of the Lettercombe Bay, Bay Lending li Library. So I guess we get the key to the pub from our dear old friend. But before we do that, I'm almost certain that we can use the binoculars over here. Because there's something over there. There is something snagged by the swimming float. I wonder what it could be. Life ring boy by the look of it. I wonder if a ship has come to harm. I know there's no use asking if you have a quick swim out there to have a look. I am happy you realize that, my friend. So... Hmm. No, we can't use that. Um... Huh. 
I don't know. I'm almost certain that we are not able to do anything at the moment. So I guess we need to go to the leather comp if we can. Because there's definitely no way Poirot will go into the water. So, yeah. Hmm. Unless, is there someone else who could help us? Huh. Mr. Redburn, Poirot is not the swimmer like you. I noticed something caught on the swimming float. It may cause an injury to someone. Would you retrieve it? I'd be happy to help you, but the strap on my swimming goggles is broken. As much as I like swimming, I can't go into the salt water without my goggles. Perhaps I can repair them for you. Well, now we know what we are there going to go. do with the leather strap. I'll be here most of the afternoon, I expect, if you manage to fix them. So, let's see if we can actually fix them right about now. To be honest, we were quite lucky with this. Ah, almost there. Almost? What else? Ah, not just, uh... Okay, where's the... I speak then. But yeah, your ingenuity is remarkable. Okay, so... The good detective knows even the most useful tools <laughs> have their proper time and place. Apparently I don't have to use them to keep them, I think. Yes. Mr. Poro, you fixed my goggles. That's part of the strap from a suitcase, isn't it? How clever. Let's see what has been snagged on the swimming float. Beastly hot. I'll enjoy the dip. Well, that was a bit lucky there. Does he have a motor about Motor... <laughs> Mother up his uh, butt. Yes. Okay, what does that achieve? Okay. Here you are, Mr. Poro. It's a life ring boy. I can't see it getting torn about that way by simply catching on the swimming board. Torn? Rubbish! Poirot, those look like bullet holes. So, you got your goggles repaired and ready now? Yes, Major. Mr. Poirot ingeniously cut up a luggage strap to replace the broken one. Luggage strap? Why, so it is. In fact, if I didn't know better... Thank you for the assistance, Monsieur Redburn. Good day, gentlemen. Right. So now we have what? We have Life Boy, and it's ruined. A tattered life ring, the word parsimony is just illegible on the side. Securious, and uh, I guess we need to go to the leather comp now. I'll take a quick break, and I'll be right back. Time to continue and go to the leather comp. Leather? Leather comp? Yes. Hopefully. Please work. Hello? Need the sea tractor, do you? Yes. Yes, please. On me way. This sea tractor is a rare contraption, isn't it? When the smugglers' vessel was first built, they used to ferry folks over by boat. But the current across the causeway here can be powerful at times. When they updated the hotel in 19... 
32, I think it was. They had the tractor built. High tide, low tide, strong current or no. The tractor, she just plows along, keeping us high and dry. It's a miracle of modern engineering, I called it. Indeed it is. So... Motor cars, boats, repaired. Okay. We have interesting music. So, okay, that's the phone. Not much could be done with that old skiff. The thing it is falling to pieces. Right. Oh, I could actually make a save. Okay, I didn't uh, type everything, but yeah, that's enough. Can we enter here? We can. Okay. Anything interesting? Ready to head back to the island, Mr. Faro? Not quite yet. I know we haven't been properly introduced, but I'm Will Jenks, and I've heard you're a famous detective. I am the detective, it is true. But famous? No. That is something of an exaggeration. Steady on, old boy. Bah! Hastings, you caution me against braggadocio, so I display modesty, and still you find fault. It's my young lady, Gladys. Maybe you've seen her at the smuggler's rest? Oh, right. Uh, bien sûr, you look like a man. Um, very upset. Your young lady seems very upset. I know, but I can't think what I could have done. Do you know, sir? She has confided in me a little bit only. What is it then? She is of the opinion that you are seeing someone else. But that's nonsense. Someone she called only the slip of a girl? But who... She means that Marshall girl what arrived a few days ago. She's been following me about ever since I first took him across on the sea tractor. Sleep of a girl. Um, where has she followed you? Where has she followed you? She'll call for the sea tractor. I'll bring her across. Then she'll want to go right back to the island again. Then she's always hanging about the garage here. I think she may be a thief too. What makes you say that? Well, my shovel's gone missing, hasn't it? And I first noticed it was gone right after one of her visits here. Interesting. Um, have you encouraged? Have you encouraged Madame Marshall? I should hope not. Why, she's just a kid. She'd be in school if she wasn't tossed out of that posh girls' school of hers. In some ways, yes. Perhaps she is, as you say, still the kid. In others, who can tell? You believe me, don't you, Mr. Poirot? Yes, but it is not important that I believe you. It is Gladys who must believe. I'll wring that Linda Marshall's neck for her. I will have the talk with Mademoiselle Marshall. In the meantime, there will be no wringing of the necks. Promise me. I promise. Yeah, I think we one murder is enough for today. Our road does not drive the motor cars, Hastings. You can be quite frustrating at times, Poirot. Yes, he can be frustrating. Ah, what do we have here? Definitely. Hands off me tools. Hands off me tools. So apparently we are not allowed to do anything at the moment. Hands off me tools. Dude, I'm helping you. I will not attempt to pilot the motor car. There is no need to leave Leather Combe to solve the crime. I okay. should be able to drive wherever I like. So, for now we are not able to do anything in here. As long as he is here. Uh, the village is practically abandoned. Well, it is quite empty. Well, there are a few chickens over there. So, I'm guessing this is the pub. Oh. Or the library? What do we have here? Let's grab that. A brochure extolling the virtue of St. Patrick's in Tacombe. Ah! St. Patrick in Tacombe Church. 
The St. Patrick in the Cove is a delightful example of a rural stone church built in the 14th and 15th centuries. It features a weathered Norman font of a polyphant stone from Cornwall, a painted screen, and a few fragments of stained glass from the same period. The church is located on a track that runs west from the Aberton Gifford Harriton crossroad and serves the scattered cottages and farms in the quaint out of the way portion of the moor. It is a lovely walk of only three miles from Aberton Gifford and no more than seven miles from the Lethagon Bay. A Lethagon Bay route in particular is over some beautiful rolling Devon countryside and highly recommended. Well that's interesting. Can I actually check a few of these things a little bit more careful? A uh, couple tablets taken from Bottle of Seven Lane's room, bottle of mineral oil, Beautiful woman's shawl, varnish, tightly sealed, we need something to open it, obviously. A wooden swimming float. Mm, I think we... It's, well, a detergent book. Well, I think we're done for now. Hmm... Actually, I don't know what this place is. Yes. Did I keep you waiting? I'm afraid I'm not myself today. I'm ever so distracted trying to solve this mystery. A mystery? Sounds promising. What is the nature of your mystery, madam? Several letters have gone missing over the past few days. I can't understand it. I'm terribly conscientious with the post, I promise you. Someone must be stealing them. Were the letters valuable? No. They were important to my customers who were expecting them, perhaps, but none contained money or anything like that. Still, my customers are complaining and I'm at a loss to explain it. That is interesting. Let's see. That will be five pence, if you please, sir. Thank okay. you for your business, sir. Uh... May I help you, sir? I'm returning the book. I am returning a book for Mrs. Castle. Oh, Love's Captive by Mrs. Arabella Richardson. I've read that one. It's a classic. How anyone can call that rot a classic is beyond me. I agree, Hastings, but we should not judge. <laughs> okay. You're right, of course, old man. Not everyone can appreciate true classics like Rough Shooting or By Motor Across Asia. Thank you, Hastings. That will be all. Um, Do you have any books suitable as an anniversary present for a wife? To purchase, you mean, sir? Not many. Let me see. Tell me about your wife, sir. Are you interested in spicing up your relationship a tittle? No. No spices needed. Lady Chatterley's lover is right out, then. What else? Is she fond of murder, sir? I should hope not. Too bad. Murder's very popular. Lucky for you, Poirot. Shouldn't like to see you out of a job. Keep searching, if you please. I don't suppose she knits. But of course she knits. Very much she knits. Here's a brand new book we just got in. Easy French Knitting Patterns by Eugenie Blottieri. One and six, please. Huh? One pound six shillings? Color illustrations cost a bit more. I need more money, Hastings. Why are your bank? Madame, I find myself short of the required funds. I need to wire my bank. Of course, sir. Just step over to the post office, if you please. Okay. Um, anything we have else? Quite a few books for... So we're done with that. Uh, let's go to the post office. That's interesting looking cat I have to see. Madame, what is the name of this creature? That's my Chloe. Isn't she a cutiekins? Delightful. Please make that noise again. Madame, what is the name of this creature? That's my Chloe. Isn't she a cutiekins? Delightful. Uh, okay. Hmm. The Fagin and Sons New Commerce Bank, London. Thank you, sir.
sir. I'll send it off directly. And Are there any telegrams for me? I'll just check. If there is, that's very fast. Sorry, sir. Nothing at the moment. Okay. Yeah, I, I'll have to see if I just go outside and come back in at if that works. Um. It would appear you are very much the John of all trades. Well, yes, we are short-staffed at the moment. So I am indeed a temporary factotum of sorts. Fortunately, the customers are as scarce as the help. Um. I'm sorry, sir. You mustn't touch that. I use the test tubes to test for chemicals and to make up the various solutions and powders I dispense by prescription and the microscope to look for impurities. It is a shame not to have access to the equipment tastings. It would be handy to be able to test various substances you come across in your investigation. Okay. Um... You can borrow that if you like. I'll take that then. Whatever it is, we will find out soon. Uh, a spatula. Of course it is. A thin metal spatula. Can I give you the pills and you tell me what those are? I will not do that. Okay. No. I'm sorry, sir. It is a sh Can I? May I help you? No, miss. Okay, so no. What all else we got? Um. Uh, Okay, is this again that there's a sketch pad? A black sketch pad, that's good. I'll go outside, come back in and see if we get the money. Let's see how if it works as fast as I think it might work. Probably not, but we might as well try that. Madam, what is the That's my delight? Yes. Are there any telegrams for me? I'll just check. Sorry, sir. Nothing at the moment. Okay, so we. What is it there? I say, there's an envelope stuck down there behind the cabinet. I see it, Hastings. I also see the cat. Okay, can I talk? Are there any. I'll just check. Okay, so. Sorry, sir. So I'm guessing we need to get the cat, after we get her out of the way, we get the cat out of the way, and then we take the letters which are behind that. But that is not enough. Oh, the lantern, we can probably use it now, which we... On the caves, I just realized. But let's search this area first. Um... Okay, and what is that? The door, it is boarded up. They must have evacuated some time ago. Okay, let's go in here. Yeah. Hello, Dago. Look at the size of that brute. <laughs> Agreed. A life ring boy. Very handy if the pub should start to sink. Ah, Hastings, as funny as ever. Like me. Uh, what do we have here? Lots of metal. From the look of those awards, this champ Bagby's won quite a few dart championships. Ah, interesting. Like to try your hand at a game of darts? No, merci. Maybe later then. Perhaps. Uh, formidable. Does that formidable dog belong to you? Yes, that's Baskerville. I've had him since he was a small... Well, he was never that small. Indeed. Not many customers today. What could you expect? Most of the town has been evacuated. And very few tourists turn up these days. And you enjoy? You enjoy the playing of the darts? Ah, uh, darts is my game, right enough. It's been a tradition in these parts for centuries. Did you know the famous smuggler Tom Cutter was an expert dartsman? No, I did not. Struth. He played at the smuggler's end almost every night when he wasn't out at sea. A masterful player was old Tom. They say he scored more ton 80s than anyone before or since. Ton 80s, Hastings? 
The highest possible score in a single throw, Poirot. Three darts, all inside the inner narrow ring of the 20 wedge. Yes, interesting. And Baskerville. I trust Baskerville is the excellent watchdog. Oh, aye, aye, aye. We have never had any trouble in here since Baskerville's come of age. Can't train him to do anything, of course. But with Baskerville, growling works a treat. Okay. Has Baskerville ever bitten anyone? Well, it doesn't need to, does he? All he has to do is growl. Right, let's continue. Have you ever seen Tom Cutter's ghost? No, but I've heard of them that has. If I was lucky enough to meet up with a ghost, I'd challenge him to a game of darts. And how did he die? He was hanged by the excise men from the smuggler's ensign. It's said he walks again every year on the anniversary of his death. And on what day did he die? August 24th, that's right. Tonight is the anniversary of Tom Cutter's murder. Monsieur Cutter lived at the smuggler's inn? Hey, it was the only lodging on the island until the hotel was built a few years ago. Okay, um... Do you know anything of Tom Cutter's treasure? A lot of folk have looked high and low for the treasure, but no one's found so much as a farthing in all these years. Thank you for the conversation, my friend. Stop in any time. Maybe we can have a darts match. Uh, maybe. I'm guessing we will need to use uh, dart skills to open some area in the Smuckers Co. But there should... Bonjour, Colonel Wester. Poirot, my old friend. What brings you to Leathercombe Bay? A short trip to the seaside to replenish their little graces. You stopping at the Smuggler's Rest? Damn shame, old man. I expect to get orders to close up the hotel any day now. This is one of the last coastal areas to be evacuated. Uh, yep. Yeah. Let's go through the questions. You're in charge of the home guard? Yes, I've set up camp in the Leathercombe Bay Police Station now that their constables left for Montbury to help there. Okay, dangerous times. Dangerous times, Colonel. Indeed. I have spotters up and down the stretch of coastline. We've had several sightings of U-boats quite close to shore this month alone. Mon Dieu, when? Let's see. August 5th, the 13th, the 16th, and again just last night, the 23rd. Poirot, those dates don't match at all with Mrs. Castle's calendar. It is true what you say, Hastings. Yeah, definitely different dates. The dates were 2, 11, 17, 30, 30 21. I mean, not 31. <laughs> okay. Interesting characters. Have you noticed any suspicious characters about? Any stranger is suspicious these days. Did you have someone specifically in mind? I came upon a man who called himself North. He seemed to be trying to gain entry to this smuggler's end pub. I have the only key. If he's that thirsty, he'll have to come over here to the mainland or break in. I'll keep a lookout for him. If you could get me a picture, I could send it off to Scotland Yard and see if they can come up with anything. May I borrow the key to the smuggler's end? I would like to see if I can discover what interests him. Be my guest. Regular law enforcement stretched pretty thin these days. What? Stethoscope? Okay. Is that your stethoscope? Belongs to Dr. Neesden, a local coroner. He left it here last night. I was going to return it to him. Say, that would work a treat if we wanted to listen at doors. Hmm, may I borrow it? Practicing medicine without a license, Poirot. It may be useful. One never knows. You're welcome to it. I'm sure Neesden has others. Do you have the file of the Millie Parsons murder case? Yes, at my office in Kingsbridge. A bad business. I'll have it sent over this afternoon. Many thanks, Colonel. All right, Poirot. We've known each other a good many years. You need a stethoscope and the key to the pub? Well, forgive my saying so, but this sounds like a busman's holiday to me. You are on to something. Don't you think you'd better share? My friend, I have only the suspicions. But yes, 
I think there may be some cloud hanging over Sea Drift Island. A number of items have gone missing. There is tension in the air. It was never my intention to take on a case here. But now, my visit may have become what you say, the boss man's holiday. Well, let me know if you uncover any serious evidence of a crime. I'll be here in Leathercombe Bay tomorrow if you need me. Many thanks, my friend. I'm off now, over to Kingsbridge for a district guard meeting. Farewell. I'll have to say that Hastings' idea about uh, using stethoscope to listen in the doors is actually quite marvellous. I don't know why I say it like that, but here we are. Here's the dartboards. Can we do anything with it? Fancy a short game, sir? Three throws each? Well, let's try. I will try my luck. Oh, I pegged you for a sporting gentleman the moment you first walked in here. We each start with 301 points. I don't have time for a complete game, I'm afraid. Whoever hits the highest score subtracts that from 301. We'll declare him the winner. Go on, you go first. Okay, do I... Darts may not be your game. No. Can I try again? A regulation dartboard. Fancy a short game, sir? Three. Th well, let's try again. I will try my luck. Oh, I pegged you for a sporting gentleman the moment you first walked in here. We eat. Okay. I don't have time for a complete. Am I getting all the same points all the time? Bad luck. Uh, I got a different score. That's your short. Uh, let's try. I will. Oh, I pegged you. I don't have time for a. I'm guessing the animation is the same, but the numbers are different. I a think. Bit off your game, ale chum. Ale chum. That's your short. Oh, well, let's try again. I will. Oh, I pegged you. I don't have time for. I don't know. Can I win this? Bad luck, Warrow. Two, six, seven. I'll try once. Once I more. Try. Oh, I pegged you for Maybe I, I need... Have time for Maybe I need something to Darts win this. May not be... Yeah, I'm guessing I need something. This is that. And hello there. Let's talk. We have Bonjour, a... Monsieur. Hello, a new face. Join me, sir. Flat's the name, Horace Flat. Hercule Poirot. Hairdresser, are ya? I beg your pardon? Oh, I don't know. Something about your manner. I am not a dresser of hairs. I am a detective. Uh, a detective? Oui, it is true. I arrived only last night. Uh, you're an avid sailor. You are the avid sailor, Monsieur Black. Used to sail quite a bit as a boy. Not this part of the world, off the east coast. I could have a first-rate yacht if I liked, but somehow I don't really fancy it. Much rather muck about in that little yawl of mine. You would rather do the sailing yourself, perhaps? Rather than a crew? Got it in one, Monsieur Poirot. I like being in control, I suppose. Feeling the boat respond as I put her through her courses. Same with business, too, come and think of it. Made me what I am today. You've heard of Flats Hardware, I'm sure. I may have... Biggest concern of its kind in London. Okay. Uh... It is not often one sees this sailboat with a red sail. Oh, I like a bit of change. No harm in it, I suppose. None at all. Sea Drift. What brings you to Sea Drift Island? Don't really know why I came here. I suppose it sounded romantic. Smuggler's rest. Makes you think of when you were a boy. Pirates, smuggling, all that. What do you think of our fellow guests? Mostly a dried up lot of sticks if you ask me. That Mrs. Marshall, she's the only lively one in the place. I should think Marshall's got his hands full with her. Oh, Redfern's all right too, I guess. He's been out once or twice with me in my yawl. Can't get hold of him now, always hanging about Mrs. Marshall, afraid I have to run over to Kingsbridge. You would sail no more this afternoon? I think not. 
Saw a bank of fog sitting off the coast when I was out before. Expect it will roll in before evening. Wouldn't want to get caught in it along this coast. Good day to you, Monsieur Poirot. Now, why should the fact that your detective get his wind up? Poirot! Hairdresser? <laughs> but yeah, he's a little bit worried about me being detective. What do we need from here to for the bird? Okay, can we enter here? No, uh. The door, it will not budge. Okay, so I think we have everything we can have. But the bird, so this is quite small area, so the bird thing has to be in here, I would guess. First things first, can I have Monet? Are there any telegrams for me? I'll just check. Sorry, sir. Okay. Um... We have quite a few books for sale, sir. Hmm. Perhaps I should have go to the bird and see what we can do about it because I know we need something from here. That's given. It was stated like that. But um but 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 uh I cannot talk anything about the bird so uh, I'm guessing I have something that we can already use uh, so basically what I need to do is properly go to the bird use the inventory and uh, items to see if I can work it out hello who is this please okay Like a ride to the island? Yes, at the moment, yes. yes. Let's be off then. I'll continue a little while. I'll I'll at least want to see if I can do something with the bird. Might I I might as well try to see if I can I expect you've heard about our ghost. The smuggler Tom Cutter. He used to bring in his goods to the cove on Sea Drift Island, they now call Cutter's Cove. And he was regular at the pub on the island. That's where he met his end, they say, hung by agents of the crown. There'll be those who say he was shot or drowned. But my old gaffer knew the story, and he swore they strung old Tom up from the hotel side. <laughs> I have to say that Poirot's <laughs> uh, facial expression were uh, quite funny. Uh, yeah, I know I could enter here i won't do that at the moment i want to go and check the bird first because we can't do anything on the mainland and um, so that means i probably have something i can use to the bird maybe And we could go and check if I can take the lantern and go to the cave. So we have the bird the here. Bird is close enough, you could trap the bird with a fishnet without getting your feet wet. We do not have the fishnet. What about the shawl? It would do as well, I think. This beautiful shawl? You cannot mean it. Suit yourself, old man. It's up to you. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, good thing the game told us what to do, so let's grab the shawl and let's grab the bird. Try again, Quaro. It's easy. Do I look like the fisherman to you, Hastings?
only a first step, mademoiselle. Take the bird to my bath and wait for me there. Come along, you poor little thing. Okay, so we caught the bird, um, let's go back to the hotel and um, see what we can do now. And while we go to the hotel, I might as well go and check if I can take the lantern from the office. Solidly built. Okay, can I let's open it? It opened effortlessly. It must see frequent use. It indeed must. A common enough oil lantern used for signaling. We will leave it. Okay, so that's definitely not what we are going to use. At least not for now in the caves. Okay, good to know. Where's my room? Right over there. Can I get there faster? Kenneth Marshall room. Quite sick. And wait, wait a minute. Oh, <laughs> this is my room. Okay. Where's the bird? Sure, Poirot. We need to clean the girly moors quickly. I don't think it will last much longer. Um, Forgive me, but might we speak later? Right. Um, no, it is not possible. What do I need to do? Uh, do I need to? Resistement. We progress. Okay. Hastings, we cannot be hasty. We must find instruction on how to proceed. Okay, is that a cue to get help? Find instruction for cleaning oil from a bird. Help Linda clean the oil covered kilomet. Acquire additional funds. Resolve the misunderstanding between Gladys, Will and Linda. Right. So, next episode, we will try to find the help for the bird, obviously, because we are going to help the bird. And we also might go and check the pub. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I will see you next time. And until then, goodbye.